Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another Fortnite video and I'm going to be helping you guys out with today's challenges. So there's a brand new challenge out where you actually have to open a faction locked chest and these chests are only found in very special locations. So in order to do this, you will need to be in a normal game mode. I don't believe that these enemies spawn in Team Rumble, so you will need to be in solos, duos, or squads in order to get started on this challenge. So it's actually a really fun challenge to complete, and it's going to have you going to three different locations and looting these very special chests. Now, these chests will actually grant you additional loot, so you're going to get shields, you're going to get really, really good weapons out of them. So if you didn't know about these chests before, or you didn't really go out of your way to loot them, after doing this challenge, you may want to consider going back to some of these locations because if you go here at the beginning of a game, it's actually a great way to get set on loot. So let's get started on the very first location. This one is actually hidden away under the ground. And if you head over here, we're going to actually be able to open up this faction lock chest extremely easy. So just head over to this location and you're going to try to look for this little missile silo and just go ahead and land down in there and we will get started on doing this challenge. Now I know people do like to land at this location sometimes, so I decided to get some weapons first and maybe a little bit of mats, but once you do jump down here, go for the phone booth that I just went to. This is going to make things a hundred times easier because none of the people here will start shooting at you and it will actually grant you access to opening the chest. So you will need to have this disguise on, otherwise it will not work. So head over to the grotto and look out for that chest that looks exactly like that. You're going to have to scan your face and that will actually unlock the chest and as you can see we got a bunch of loot out of here. So the great thing about this challenge is it's not really too hard and it's actually pretty fun and should set you up for a pretty good game. So that's the first chest you want to try to loot and it is located at the grotto. So just hop into that phone booth and you should have no issues popping open that chest. Now the next location we're going to be going to is actually the rig. So if you've never been here, it's actually a oil rig which is located off the shore of the map. It's actually pretty cool that they did add in something like this. And so when you land over here, it's pretty much the same method for all three of these chests. You just need to find that phone booth and then find that chest. So here at the rig, I'll show you the best way to get this done because those henchmen honestly can kill you quite fast. And I'll show you guys a really good method so you don't have to worry about dying. So once you land here at this location, you want to try to get a weapon. You can head in the back door and actually get some mats, get some health together if you wanted to. And as soon as you do, you want to try to head up to the third floor. And as you can see, this is where the faction lock chest will be located. So once you find the faction lock chest, all you need to do is throw on that disguise because without the disguise, you will not be able to unlock it. So make your way to the roof of the building. That way you can see where all the enemies are and you have a really good viewpoint. After that, you can jump down. Make sure that it's all safe for you because these guys will snipe you out in about four or five bullets. So make sure to be on top of killing the henchmen. Otherwise, they will take you out quite fast. So once you know that the area is clear, you can head across the rig and actually go to the phone booth, which is located right here next to these crates. Now, if you really wanted to, you could technically land directly on the phone booth and probably make things maybe a little bit faster, but then you wouldn't have any guns and you wouldn't have any mats together just in case maybe some enemies are here. So once you've thrown on the disguise, you can head back to the third floor and you will be granted access to that faction chest. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely be sure to consider subscribing that way you don't miss any future guides. And I try to be as thorough as possible and come up with some of the easiest methods in order to get these challenges done. So all you guys really need to do for this point is just go over to the faction chest, pop it open, and you will be granted access to the next step of the challenge. So for the third and final location, just head to the dead center of the map. This is called the agency on the map if you haven't been here yet. Now keep in mind while you guys are here, there's a couple more challenges you actually have to complete at the agency which just launched today. So you may want to try to knock some of those out while you are here. But this is the location you want to be on the lookout for. And if you head down to the bottom level, pretty much where the basement is, you will be able to go and get to the phone booth. Now this phone booth is actually kind of hidden. It's one of the harder ones to find and actually get to. But I will show you guys the exact location of where it is that you can find it. So if you head up the staircase or you just look for the fountain or that tree that's outside, you will be able to find the phone booth with no problem. So once you have found the phone booth, you want to try to head down these stairs. Take this right and you should be able to find the faction log chest in the back of this room. And that'll be all that you guys need to do in order to finish up this challenge. So hopefully it did help you guys out. 
and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.